is here. That means the vast majority of this year's best games will be released in the next three months. And October starts the parade with a cavalcade of must-buy games that will force you to make some tough decisions. That's where Dossier comes in. There are over 70 major games being released this month, but we've used our expertise to chop the list of essentials down to just 10. Konami has mostly checked out of console video game development, but it still wants all the money and profits. So it signed deals with studios like Bloober Team to create games for some of its biggest IP. First up is a remake of Silent Hill 2. This heralded game is one of those sacred cows that fans are reluctant to have modified, but Bloober Team is well aware of this and has the horror pedigree to create something special. Initial trailers were not well received, but as more of the game has been shown, public opinion has drastically shifted to the positive. We're keeping our fingers crossed that the magical dust sprinkled all over this survival horror classic will remain. Diablo 4 has been a massive hit for Blizzard and Microsoft. It's already generated well over 1 billion in revenue, and Blizzard is just getting started on its post-launch support. Vessel of Hatred is its first major expansion, and includes a litany of content, changes, and fixes. It picks up the main storyline where the base game leaves off, exploring the trials and tribulations of Mephisto. There's a brand new region called Nakahantu, with new dungeons, cellars, and strongholds to explore. There's also a new playable class called the Spiritborn to put the cap on this intriguing expansion. Best of all, you don't even need to finish the base campaign to play it. Dragon Ball games usually come in two genres. There are action RPGs where you beat up everything in sight, or there are fighting games where you beat up everything in sight. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is the latter and the spiritual successor to the legendary Tenkaichi franchise. Known for its well-balanced and far more intricate play, the roster features an astounding 182 total playable characters. So no matter what kind of Dragon Ball fan you are, there is someone to get the competitive juices flowing. It may be the biggest roster we've ever seen in a fighting game. Each character has their abilities, techniques, and transformations to use inside the large arenas that crumble as you unleash your fury. After a handful of spin-offs, the turn-based RPG maestros at P-Studio and Atlas have finally decided to leave Persona 5 in the dust for a brand new IP called Metaphor Refantasio. Instead of just navigating the politics of high school life, the stakes are much higher in this Game of Thrones toned plot. It also ditches its usual cartoony art style for a more sophisticated and striking cell shaded look. Combat has been overhauled, but it still feels familiar, and new tweaks like bonds and archetypes will keep Persona vets on their toes. And perhaps most importantly, you can count on getting your money's worth, as RPGs from this developer usually last 60 hours or more. The Mario Party franchise was never bigger than in the N64 and GameCube era, when everyone played multiplayer games locally on the couch with friends and family. We have amazing memories from that era, but as time has gone on, the internet has replaced those in-person gaming sessions, and franchises like Mario Party have lost a ton of their luster. Nintendo also remembers that era perhaps too fondly, because it has flat out refused to bring this multiplayer-driven franchise into the modern online age. That all changes with Super Mario Party Jamboree. Finally, Nintendo has accepted reality and included extensive online play. It's a match made in the Mushroom Kingdom. We don't recommend a lot of VR games in these monthly roundups because, let's be honest, most of you aren't playing VR games. But Batman Arkham Shadow is different. If you can get over the fact that we had to play Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League instead of a new Batman Arkham game, you might be a bit more accepting. And you should be, because this first-person Batman game looks to have all the tenets of that revered franchise from Rocksteady. Set between the events of Arkham Origins and Arkham Asylum, you'll tangle with the Rat King and his cult of crazies using Batman's full arsenal of gadgetry and cunning. Combat, crime scene investigation, and stealth are all waiting, provided you have a MetaQuest 3 headset. Another year, another Call of Duty, right? Not so fast this time! Call of Duty Black Ops 6 essentially rewrites the book on the franchise, thanks to its new omni-movement system that affects every single mode. 
Being able to sprint or dive in any direction takes some getting used to, but once you do, playing Call of Duty is never the same again. The game also includes a new zombies offering from the studio that created the mode, 16 brand new maps for multiplayer compared to last year's recycled roster, and a brand new Warzone map called Area 99. We're also partial to the Black Ops campaigns across the years, so the single player stuff carries more weight than usual. If you usually wait and only buy Call of Duty every few years, this looks like the one. We remember Sonic Generations as a competent 3D platformer that isn't afraid to throw the camera to the side for some old-school 2D Sonic action. Apparently, Sega remembers it for far more than that. Because of all the old 3D Sonic games in its vault, it's chosen this one to rework and remaster. It's a dual-edged hedgehog, as this package includes a full remaster of the original game from 2011, along with a brand new story-driven campaign, where Sonic's dark doppelganger, Shadow, takes the leading role with all new abilities. The more we've seen of this package, the more impressed we've become, as Sega has gone the extra mile to introduce this decade-old platformer to a brand new audience. Life is Strange is one of those franchises that sticks with you long after you finish playing. Mostly because anything great, or horrible, that happens is often the result of your own decision making. This aesthetic returns with double exposure. The franchise's first star, Max Caulfield, returns to navigate the multiverse as she tries to save her murdered friend by manipulating multiple dimensions. Her rewind powers just simply aren't enough to revive the dead, but instead, she discovers these new abilities that take her life in an entirely new direction. Then there's a pesky, nosy detective constantly getting in her way. Use Max's supernatural powers across multiple timelines in this thrilling choose-your-own-adventure. Dragon Age The Veil Guard is supremely important for myriad reasons. It revives a beloved franchise that has been dormant for a decade, but most importantly, it stands as a litmus test for heralded studio Bioware. It once could do no wrong, as it turned out one incredible RPG after another, but recent missteps like Mass Effect Andromeda and Anthem have fans shaking in their elven boots. The good news is that everything we've seen of the Veil Guard looks like a return to form for the studio, as it iterates on the tried and true formula that once made it one of the industry's most important studios. Cooperative play, stunning visuals, engrossing quests, and a heavy dose of epic look to lock us all in from Halloween to the end of 2024 and beyond. Thanks for checking out our rundown of games you should buy in October 2024. This month in particular, there are literally dozens of other games worth considering. That's where Sifted.net comes in. The world's most advanced gaming website delivers you a custom feed of content to help you find your next favorite game. If you like what we're doing, head to patreon.com sifted and give us a pledge if you can. We appreciate all our supporters, whether they contribute financially or not. And we'll see you again in November. Everyone all right? Good enough.